everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity. Last time, Jeanne made her way up in the catacombs beneath Alaroth, having freed Mardanius from possession by Theleron Hashnator, the power-crazed necromancer. With the help of Gregor, uh, she battled her way through Hordes of Undead. And uh, this episode, I believe this is Mardanius' house, that's very handy. Um, this episode, I think we're going to have a little... Uh, talk to a few people, a um, bit of inventory management, and selling all the stuff we found in the catacombs. Um, and a general loving, because uh, I hope you can tell, I'm, I'm having a great time with this. Here's Martinius. Admiring of us. Greetings, my friend. I thought thou, Theleron, would destroy my mind. I'm in your debt, and I hope that I can repay you someday. What can I do for you? I'd like to hear more about Theleron. I'm so glad that you have released me from this evil entity. Deleron was a necromancer of great power. He searched for a way to become immortal, and he failed. It's good to see that you're alright again. Now the vision will flourish. We still have got problems with the source. It's a tragedy that we can't heal the sick and suffering. I'm trying to find a way to restore the source to its former glory. I'd like to hear more about the source. What kind of problems do you have? The source is an energy field and used to heal sick patients. The healer has to link his mind with the source so that he can get access to its powers. Uh, do you know why the source has been tainted? There's probably dark magic involved. Since the source has been tainted, the we healers cannot perform but the simplest healing rituals any longer. Can you heal me? Yes, apparently. And for free, uh, I assume, because uh, Mardenis admires us. Um, what else can I do for you, my beautiful friend? If I need something, I'll come back again. I was hoping to talk to you about the plague in Rivertown. Could you assist in a cure for that? Uh, I have my suspicions about the uh, the motivation of Dr. Elrath. Dr. Elrath? No, nonsense. I find a healer you won't meet, even though he refuses to use magic. Oh, okay. No help there, then. Perhaps we can talk to Lanilor, whose house is up here somewhere. Um... Yeah, we've just completed our first uh, proper dungeon of the game. Um, I suspected there would be dungeons. Oh, hi, Lanilo. Let's talk to you as you came out to Venus. Senior Tenebrae, the brave one returns. I'm so happy that the good Mardenius has been freed from the necromancer. Now, what can I do for you? I need to know more about the plague. We're working together with the local doctor, Elra. He is trying everything he can to bring the plague under control. Tell me about Dr. Elra. He's a brilliant and knowledgeable man. People say that he is in close contact with Janus. Dad. Everything I've heard about Janus causes me to be worried about that, Lenlor. Oh no, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. It's good to have someone close to power. Okay, uh, can you heal me? Sure, for you. It's free. Thanks, Lenlor. I'm going to scout around a bit. I'll return when I have some more questions for you. I take it the other healers have already headed to Rivertown? Oh yes, they're, they're on their way, safely escorted by Lord Seth. Thanks. That's what I thought. Um, so I think... You know what, we don't actually need to rest, do we? I thought we might need to, but we don't. So next stop is going to be... Um, the first layer of the dungeon. Oh, Kitty! You wouldn't believe the adventure I've been been on. Meow. That place was crawling with skeletons. Like you wouldn't believe. And a lich at the end of it. But, um, I mean, a fair few of them self-destructed, so that was helpful. And I, um, I met a zombie called Gregor, who maybe hadn't been the most courageous person in life, but, but showed great bravery helping me to uh, loot the place wrong. Speaking of which, let's uh, go get our stuff. Okay, and while Jan is doing that, um, I guess we'll pick up as much stuff as we can can uh, can manage. Because I, I don't know if we'll be able to pick it all up this time. Um, so while we're ferrying stuff around, I'd just like to say that. 
I'm not really one for dungeon calling, but I really enjoyed this catacomb section. Um, I had a fantastic time with the um, the atmosphere of it. Um, it felt really cohesive as a place. So I think that was. I think the um, the mazes were were well designed and um, led you through in a in an interesting way. And um, I think above all, what I think what turns me off about um, dungeon crawling in general is that it seems so detached from uh, the narrative that's going on usually. It's just a um, uh, an activity to do uh, while you're waiting for the story to rest. But this was this was pretty integral to what was going on. And there were there are their own little stories going on. There was sort of one grand story in the um, in the dungeon, and. Uh, and a few little ones peppered through. So I found it, on the whole, a lot funnier and a lot more interesting than, um, than most dungeons you'll come across. Um, so I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed its, its own perspective on, uh, on Undead as well. That was very cool. So if the, um, if the game maintains um, that level of, uh, of interest in narrative through its um through its combat sections then uh, I think I'll be I'll be fairly satisfied. We're here. Jeanne has picked up just the items that we'd left in the corridor before um, and just with those few she's already encumbered. Um, so we're gonna take a few a few trips and Jeanne, Jeanne's plan is to uh, drop one of the pyramids here. Let's put it say there out the way of the other things. And head to Joram's basement, where I hope he won't mind us storing a few items and perhaps coming back for the occasional rest. Um, especially as he doesn't appear to be using the place himself at the moment. Um, so Jan's plan is to maybe pop along over here. Drop the pyramid touch the pyramid. And we've got a quick way backwards and forwards. Okay, that's the last of the items, so we're gonna pick up the teleport sense down here. I have too much to carry. Then, I must drop some items first. Use it to get back to uh, Joram's and then we'll keep that one with us and just use it to teleport back to Joram's uh, when we're in need of a nap. Okay, so this is the last of our treasure that we recovered from the catacombs and one of the interesting things I picked up from the um, loading screen hint that um, I see as I'm uh, saving and loading is that you can use items on items uh, point and click adventure style um, which I've been kind of accidentally triggering by just by trying to fill this chest up so if I drop this with that it won't work with that um, you get a, usually get an error message I suspect that's mostly for making potions when you've got herbs and things and you can put them in empty flasks um, and probably for the uh, charms that you can add to weapons um, but those both rely on you having certain skills to, to be able to to do them I think um, I don't know if there's any other interesting combinations you can come up with one of the other interesting things was about food as well it said that um, try experimenting eating different foods and seeing what happens and they all have different effects. So they, I think they must have minor statistical effects on some of the other um, categories that we don't, um, aren't very visible to us uh, most of the time, um, which is interesting. So I, I mean, I think I did munch a few carrots while in the catacombs, but I didn't see my vision get any better, for example. So well, we'll see if we pick anything up as we go along. So I think what I want to do is I want to visit the marketplace again and sell some of this stuff off. We can't carry much um, because we'll get encumbered quite quickly. So I think I want to leave in the chest some things that we're likely to use again uh, in the future. Um, I'm kind of wondering about these bows that we've got because we found the crossbow to be very effective. I think Jean would like to stay um, with ranged attacks for um, physical and magical attacks. So let's see um, what the difference is between crossbows and normal bows. Um, recuperation time is 20 on a crossbow. It's 15 on um, these bows. 
So I think all but one of these bows are, pr are not very high quality. This one is a well-made composite bow. Um, it uh, offers us some benefit to offence and sight, and it can do somewhere between six and sixty-seven damage, which I mean, that's pretty enormous. Um, so it's not doing any less than it's faster, and it's not doing any less damage than what we've already got. It's a more durable item. It weighs the same, so that's, that would be really good. The only thing that we don't have that we'd require is agility 25. So I'll pop that in. I'll pop that in our inventory. We'll take that with us because I think that might be a helpful thing to have around. It won't take too long for us to get to uh, to 25. Um, amulet. Oh, gives us strength and defense and resistance to poison. That's very handy. Um, I'll keep the bulls medal in here. I'm gonna keep the armors in here because they are um, potentially useful at some point in the future and, and heavy to lug around. Um, that's a handy pair of boots, we'll keep that. I kind of want to sell these crack shoes and these are plus two to intelligence boots um, so that's pretty good we could. They're just sort of standard boots so let's pop them in there. Let's um, take, we're unlikely to get to the required uh, agility and strength um, requirements for axes. I don't think they're going to be something that uh, Jan is bothering with. So if we can sell a few of these axes, um, all the better. Um, I guess the, uh, the ones with charmed properties are going to be more valuable. So let's pick some of the charmed weapons. Um, I think there's a couple of knives that are... Well, Jade Amulet is just decorative, right? Yeah. So we could sell that quite easily. Oh, it's an unidentified skull cap. I need level 4 for that one. I'm going to keep that around because that could be um, very useful. I have too much to carry. Oh, I must drop some items first. Yeah. Okay, so we're already. Ooh. Okay, and I don't think we're going to be using daggers, although they look very cool. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Let's see how we can how well we can load ourselves up. Um, so I've got, a, I've got an idea of how we can get to the oh that's a charmed one, the um, marketplace. I have too much to carry. Fairly efficient. I must drop some items first. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Okay, that's got some a charm to it. I have too much to carry. I um, must drop some items first. Oh, that one has two. Yeah, that's got frost. So that would be quite. I have too much to carry. To someone. I must drop some as items first. I have too much to okay. carry. I must drop some items first. I think we might have to leave it at that for now. Um. Maybe uh, these we saw these broken gloves as well. Just... I'm carrying too much. No. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll stop there. Okay, next part of the plan, out onto the surface. What's that? I hear grumbling. Could it be? Let's check again. Oh, so you are here. Aye. But I do know bouncing breasts. I didn't think you had it in you to find a cure for all my Dennis's broken brain. Well done, human. <clears throat> Probably think you're something special now, don't you? Do you have a problem with humans? Why well, are you just obnoxious to everyone in equal measure? I'm not going to say that. We're chums now. Oh, so tell me more about the Grey Death. We don't know much about it yet. We're still investigating it, but I can tell you it's a nasty illness. Be sure you don't catch it. Me and the other healers are working closely with Dr. Elrath to find a cure for it. Hmm. 
Uh, can you heal me? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I thought I still wants to charge me 300 gold. Uh, shall we ask the rude question? The latter. No, why don't you go and bother the elf? His folk like pointless chattering, and maybe you won't mind, you stinker, your stinker pig flesh. I'll take my leave of you. Oh, Otho, charming. Um, okay, so Otho's still around, but the other healers seem to have, seem to have run out on us. Interesting. Now, I'm going to get the, uh, the map up. Here we go. Um, so I have kind of run around most of um, Alaroth, and there's no teleporter here, but if I can find our teleporter map, uh, this one, yeah, there should be. So I suspect it's probably just somewhere outside the perimeter, so I'm going to have a little run around and try and find that, because then we can get zapped straight back to the marketplace from there. Just time for a quick nap, I think. Ah, I needed that. I feel um, reinvigorated. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Okay, here it is. I can make my way to the marketplace. Time to go shopping. Can't use that. Hail, Kristen Dalius. Good morrow to thee. Apologies for the misunderstanding before when I tried to go into your sleeping compartment. And, uh, what do you have for sale today? Ooh, uh, po you have these potions and a frog statuette, which will transform me into a frog. It's interesting. Um, uh, magical amulets. Ooh, nice rubies. Um, and so yeah, so exciting, exciting jewelries, transformation, so magical artifacts and some magical potions. Any fame death? No. All right, that's a good reminder. Thank you. See you soon. Hello, Jiro. Oh, welcome back. Uh, can you show me your wares? What do you have for sale? So we have. Probably lots of things that we can't wear. So we're just not able. Um, what we'd like is maybe some good replacement armor bits if we can. We're not doing too badly, but well, that's quite a shield. Um, some leggings might be good. I think we need more than 80 armor from them or some other beneficial effect. Uh, lots of belts that are uh, possible, I think, within our reach, but not necessarily wearable today. Uh, lots of helmets that aren't particularly useful. Lots of leggings of the same kind of uh, ability. Some cool shields and stuff. You know what? Some boots that give you 150 arm and increase magic sound pretty good. And some leggings that have charm quality but no charms. Yeah, interesting. So I might have to get somebody to, to charm that up for me or, or learn how to do it myself. I think that shield is... Uh, pretty interesting. So maybe these boots. Um, let me just check my stats, and I'll get 
I'll get right back to you, uh, Jiro. I think it's a deal. I can find use for these boots now. What will you accept for it? Maybe some um, things that are sort of in your line, but maybe some payment of jewellery I do not need and gems. We're nearly there already. Crap. Um, hmm. I only need one. Uh, well, maybe I'll take that back and just pay the rest in cash. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, I think we've got ourselves a deal. Thanks. So, I'm going to keep those boots, but actually you might want my... I can't lift that. Oh, I, I, I have one. too much Thanks. to carry. I must drop some items first. Would you like this rope? I don't even want the rope. Do you want the rope? Probably not. It's low armor, isn't it? Yeah, we'll sell the rope. Deal. Then let's check out Jeff's shop to see if we can offload the rest of this stuff. Hi Jeff, I am kind of hoping you can help me out. I haven't been able to find much in the, the other stores in town and I I know um, your weapon shop is, is, is very impressive. Thank you. Let's go to my place of business. I'll um, follow just, just behind. I, um, I can only walk so fast. I'm rather encumbered by... Uh, by all the things I found. Oh yes. I was um I was clearing out the catacombs beneath Alaroth of uh, skeletons actually. Oh really? That's very impressive. Um but you yeah, that's that's why I've got all these things. What have you got, Jeff? You got um some ooh, more impressive crossbows, okay, that do more damage. But I don't know. Would they do any more damage than the bow that I've got in my possession already? Not necessarily. Ooh, I like the look of that one. Fierce hunting bow of piercing sight. It. Ooh. That gives a lot of benefits. That might be worth getting while it's in store. It does a lot of damage too. Can I afford it? It's 31,000. No, I can't afford it. Wow, okay. Um, not with current funds. Mm, that's a shame because it might not be here next time I come to the shop. Because all the, um, all the goodies seem to be randomised. That's a shame. Can we haggle on it? I guess not. Oh, well, I guess it's not to be, Jeff. Um, can I, but there's some crossbows over here. Do you mind if I have a look at these? It might be useful. 24 to 69. 6 to 25. What does mine do? 6 to 25. But what does the bow do? Uh, 6 to 67. Hmm. Okay, so those would do, that one would do, but that one would do more guaranteed damage. That's durability 3 of 11. What's this one? 7 of 7. Well, let's... Hmm. What do we think? can't lift that. 
Oh, I'm not trying to lift it. Um, let's sell Jeff some stuff first. Because Jeff, yes, has a quote great reserves of cash. So let's sell Jeff um, lots of axes that we're not going to use, and staffs, and daggers, and axes, and axes, axe. Whoa, that's a lot of axes. The skeletons had a lot of axes. And I think there was, was there a pair of gloves that we bought to sell? Oh, we could, I don't think we could quite fit them in, could we? That's fine. So, could we get some cash for that? Thanks. And then, and then maybe I can ask about this one. Ah, that item interests you. I can let you have that for a very reasonable price, as it's one of my favourite customers. Uh, yes, I'm interested. What's the price? Um, so, is that... Uh -huh. yeah. That's a nice... Um, that's quite a neat, intuitive way to add items in the environment into the um, trading system. So that, I think, is... Is a good is a good thing. I think we should try and get that. Uh, and if we if we can pay with it with pay for it with gems, that would be good too. So let's try that. Uh, gems. It's a bit difficult to tell between apples and gems sometimes, um, especially in dull light. Okay. Um, okay, we're getting there. We're close. Um, anything else? These. How about one of these? Okay, and then a little bit more cash? Sure. No, uh, I think that's it. Thanks very much, Jeff. I'll, um, while I'm here, I might just uh, sort myself out a little and, and see how the crossbow fits. So we've got, do we need agility 25 for this? And strength 25, ooh. So we can almost get there this time, so we can't use it just yet. But if I go for agility 25 this time, I can at least use my... Shan tries to use her new crossbow and finding it too heavy drops drops the um, drops the instrument just as a shaft uh, goes off and buries itself in the floor beside Jeff. Oh, I, I see. I, th I think I might need to get a little stronger uh, before uh, I um, do anything with that. Well, thanks very much, Jeff. That you've been very helpful, and I um, I feel a lot lighter now. Oh, and uh, I can uh, I can do this too. I am um, very impressive. Uh, yes, I think I think they they're just gonna stay here um, and and hang out for a bit until the magic fades. I make no bones about it. I could use him as a mannequin. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. If that's helpful. Um, right. Uh, I'll be off. See you soon, Jeff. Oh, I've never been so embarrassed. Mm, while I'm here, I want to see if the doctor's back. I've I have questions for the doctor. Where's that door? This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Mm, no luck. And no dwarf's ale purses either. Mm, I... I wish I could see inside somehow. <gasps> maybe, maybe I can. <gasps> it's like I had a, a glimmer of what was there. Hail citizen. Hmm, what about this area? Oh, 
cheese and doors in a bottle of ale. Not too unusual. No patience, no potions. Um, oh, a secret passage down? Hmm, I really want to have a look in the doctor's house and see if I can find a way in. And this new ability, this new ability may come really in handy. <laughs> 